hey Aries welcome to your general reading here in November this is a general and will not resonate with everybody unfortunately but I do personal readings and that information will be in the description box below okay along with the information about what decks of cards I use in the video this time I do have a new deck of cards for you guys you know I'm addicted to buying them so oops I'm dropping them apparently so yeah i've got a new setup for you guys if you're new welcome please subscribe and remember to hit the notification bell so that you are alerted when new readings come out so the new deck of cards i'll be using is the work your lie oracle cards there okay so pretty out there look at the colors and i will be using for the main deck um the legend tarot deck there okay and then at the end as i felt drawn to it today um i'm gonna pull a card from the top of each pile so if you feel drawn to one of the cards up here i will be pulling them at the end okay so let's see here first this is a new setup because i do want you guys to see the cards but i still want to shuffle on camera for you guys i feel it's important so i'm just trying this let's see okay let's pull you some oracle cards work your light The initiation pisces just got this okay so you could be dealing with a new pisces rite of passage crossing the threshold do you see like all that darkness and ruins like there's a doorway there's a way out there that you're just about to step through it's just like this a little bit more time a little bit more distance here can you see this path you're being led guided out of these dark times to this beautiful new world that awaits you in there so it's like things are about to change for you substantially here okay the road ahead is leading you to a better destination a better place than you've been going through here so let's see oops just jumped out Ooh, two of them longing for home belonging the original light workers okay so you may be feeling this longing within you now you could be one of the original light workers here okay so let's see don't dim to fit in how are you dimming your light in order to fit in okay never descend for other people you know, if they can't take your shine, that's probably why they end up out of your life. If people, you know, if when you're shining, if people are hating on you, it's not your problem, you know? Don't lower yourself or dim yourself here to fit in, never. Shine like a star, baby, you lot are awesome. So let's use the Legend Tarot deck here and see what we have in the main read for Aries definitely not you're about to you know step into this whole new world you know that aladdin film that's what i keep hearing a whole new world you may be like starting to pick up um messages intuit intuitively you may be a light worker for many years so you was you know one of the originals okay don't dim to fit in maybe you've had to do that your whole life and you're about to cross this threshold where you're no longer going to dim yourself to please other people let's see six of wands look at that everybody can't take their eyes off you they're taking notice of you success coming overcoming these spiritual challenges maybe if you did have to dim to fit in or you've been going through a tough time here you're about to overcome this now you're about to have victory over this, okay? You may be feeling that longing and you're like, I don't even know what I'm longing for here. Look, I'm longing to return to my home, my own planet or heaven or whatever it is for you guys. You're longing for a place and you're like, where is it here? Look at the stars up there. You want to return. You could be longing for a person, but, you know, while with this person, it's quite, you have to be dimming yourself. You have to compromise yourself, who you are. So in order to be with them in their world, um, you know, 
it can get quite dark and quite miserable and they expect you to accept that. I I just heard another song and it's um what is it Midnight Train to Georgia where she says I'd rather live in his world than be without him in mine. So even though it could have been bad, you could be longing for somebody who's in this um you may feel like staying here in the darkness, you know, moving on you'll lose them but you won't. It's like going to your world there and you'll see things change. You'll have this victory that you're longing for. Or this person. They could be the ones longing for you here as well. You know, somebody could be longing for you that you left behind and they're feeling the darkness without you. So they're heading towards your world, which is good because you don't want to dim yourself. You want them to step up to the light here. So again, that would be a victory for both of you. If you're a cross watcher, this person, this Aries may have sent you to this light, this new world here. Even though you could still be longing for this person who, you know, maybe put you through some ruins there. Ten of Cups, yeah. This happiness together. This love you shared. And it really was love with the Ten of Cups. You guys really loved each other, whether you're a cross watcher or an Aries. You guys really loved each other here. There's a lot of love. Look how it's equal on both sides. It seems like you're both five of cups missing each other, longing for each other. Remembering what you used to have, this one big cup in between both of your five cups here. So it's like longing for that love here that was maybe left behind. But don't worry, it seems to be catching you up here. There will be a positive outcome with the Six of Wands. Don't try and descend. Don't try and go backwards to them. Let them come towards you, whether you're a cross watcher or an Aries. Okay, guys, let them come to you. Because you would be going backwards and dimming yourself when they're actually being led out here. Okay? You're longing for each other and you may not even know because you seem to be in this world full of light and beauty and they may be still the one in this dark here heading towards, look, whether you're a cross watcher or not, the message is for the watcher. It seems like you're here in the light now, but they're heading towards this. Do you see out there? It's here. They're heading towards here. So they're heading towards this light. May have taken them some time here, but that was their rite of passage. That's what they had to learn, milestones they had to hit. But it seems like you're longing for each other now. You may have not even met this person. The tower, and as I say that, you know, um, it could have been a breakup where you are now longing for each other. But it seems like it's going to be quite a surprise to you because your back's turned here. Okay, you don't see them coming and they can't see outside into that new world either. So it could be a surprise encounter here. Okay, with the tower. That could be what's coming up for this person who you're longing for. And you have, you know, this chance to meet them again. Some sort of memories with the six there. But it's, you know, they actually see you for who you are now. Or you're seeing them for who they are. With this tower here, I feel like somebody's ready to fight for this. Like something they want. Okay, you know, we did this sadness and whatever, but I'm ready to fight for this. Don't dim yourself, guys. Three of swords. Yeah, this breakup really hurt here. With Tens are about ending. So with that ten of cups, your emotional stability ended. So we have the tower and the three of swords. So... You know, this heartache, you really and truly had to grow from this, you know. You here in this relationship, you may have been dimming yourself. That's why the tower had to come down. And it's hurting you and you're um, longing for them and they're longing for you. Like I said, this is two people longing for each other. But you had to go through this to understand and successfully overcome 
with this six of wands to get to this place, this light, this beautiful new world, whole new world. But they'll join you soon or you'll join them soon. On my video, I'm manifesting a soulmate or a text. Um, I do warn about people trying to descend to somebody else's vibration because then, you know, if you descend, um, let's say, and it is the retrograde, what will happen is they'll leave very quickly as well. They'll, you know, you'll start elevating once you start to feel happy. Oh, I'm happy. I'm back with them. You'll start elevating away from them again and it'll come to an end again. Okay. With the tower, that's what the tower will be. You'll be hurt all over again. So don't try and dim yourself or come down to their level to fit in. Trust the universe, the divine, that they will catch you up here. Temperance, there you go. Somebody wants a second chance definitely here. Um, but this is about that higher spiritual learning. You know, you agreed before we came here as above so below that this would happen in order for you to learn this lesson now it's here it's in your hands the opportunity is coming just don't fall at the last hurdle trying to descend or accept them back with um lowering your standards don't do it it'll just cause you to be hurt again here so when they ask for a second chance and that they will um you know, remember everything you've learned here. Don't dim. Don't feel like, oh, well, you know, if I, you know, don't be in their world or if I don't do something for them, they may leave again. Trust me, even if you do it for them in the wrong energy, they'll leave again anyway. You'll learn this lesson all over again. You'll learn that they will leave you again. And it'll just be as painful with the Three of Swords. You've got to learn to trust that, um, you're in the right place at the right time and what's meant to be will meant to be. Nine of swords, yep. Yeah, worrying about something that hasn't even happened. So that's just what I was explaining, right? So if you're worrying, oh, if I don't do everything for them or, you know, if I, you know, I don't know what people do like, run to their every beck and call they'll leave again if you let them walk all over you they'll leave again anyway so don't worry about things that haven't happened yet don't lose sleep over it because this shows that you may be losing sleep well will i ever get them back do they want me back you know if you are worrying about these things that's what will manifest another lesson the same there okay So the hanged man flipped over. Yeah, it's all about perspective for you guys. If you feel like, oh, I'm going to be alone forever, um, you may just manifest um, a bit more time on your own. It's not that you will be alone forever. It's just worrying about things that, you know, aren't, aren't even happening. You're like, oh, I'm worried that in the future I might not find a new romance. Well, you will, but if you're worried about it, this is the Nine of Swords energy. It keeps you stuck. You might just want to curl up in bed here and cry with these Nine of Swords. And you could be spending a lot of time in bed, but not actually sleeping. This could be lead to depression if you allow this same mistake to happen again. It could lead to depression. So if somebody does return, somebody's been making you wait for a second chance here and you've been worried that it won't happen... That's what's actually blocking it, okay? Um, don't lower yourself. Don't do it, okay? Because what will happen is they will return, but for a short time. And then all you feared that, you know, you wasn't good enough, that's the vibration and energy you're putting out. So they will leave again because you'll need to learn this lesson, this spiritual lesson here. You overcome this spiritual lesson by not lowering yourself. Keep your standards um, very high, not your walls around your heart high, just you know your standards, your self-respect, it makes you more romantically attractive. Okay, so 
I'll pull the cards now. These are the answers from your angel. So if you was drawn to this deck here, this card is forgiveness. You know, nearly in every video, different cards have been coming up with the words forgiveness. And I've said, you know, forgive those who trespass against us as, you know, as we want to be forgiven by those we trespass against. On judgment day, we'll want to be forgiven by God. So forgiveness is very important here. So like I said, it seems to be somebody coming back around, two people longing for each other, where forgiveness here is going to be key to the situation. Okay, forgive yourself for not knowing enough. Forgive others for whatever they did to you here. And then, um, you know, the situation can all be forgiven and start again. Don't try pick up where you left off. Start again, fresh, okay? Forgive and put that all in the past if this is what you want, a second chance, okay? If you are, I never say forgive and forget. I say remember and recover, but we need forgiveness, okay? Especially if you want it. Okay, the lovers, so it definitely seems to be a divine love connection and you had to walk the path alone, okay, this dark path here, you ha it had to happen, okay, because this lovers card is about um, their journey on their own being very fruitful as well as their journey together, but I definitely feel like, you know, you are both feeling this pull together here and that's the global art collection 78 mythical tarot deck there and this is the akashic tarot deck the muse okay so it seems like you're somebody's muse or somebody's finding you very attractive very pretty especially with the six of wands being drawn to you you could be very creative at this time this sort of darkness this tower could have brought out the creative side in you they could have been your muse for the, this catalyst for this creative thing that were brought out in you i said to somebody the other day like look at the songs that have come from heartbreak you know or poetry that have come from pain paintings even okay so it seems like you are this person's muse or they are yours they made you start being very creative and start blossoming communion definitely seems like it's a very holy time for you guys, okay? I see the Trinity here in this card. That's don't dim yourself. So you had to, you know, be accepting of this holy communion, okay? And this coming together, but in the correct way. Yes, you are both longing for each other, but you don't want to be in the dark together. You want to be in the light together here. That's the goddess deck, sorry. Um, and this is the Divine Feminine deck, the Goddess of Self-Knowledge, okay? The essence of who I am flows effortlessly into everything I create. And again, it seems to be about you creating something, whether it's this union. I feel like maybe you lost yourself in this love and allowed it to overpower you and you went to their side rather than making a new world together, okay? So what you want to do is um, let them be your muse, okay, and create here this new world that you both want to be in and they'll be led towards you here with this initiation. It's coming, both initiation cards, communion and initiation there. The universe has your back oracle deck and it says, I recognize that I have cho chosen fear and I choose again, I choose love, okay? So this is this. And there is nothing wrong with recognizing with where you're at on your journey because then you can start, you can choose again and say, okay, this is my starting point, but it's not where I want to be. Where I want to be is, say, in love, okay? So first I want to make myself okay with the, I'm single at the moment with this nine, okay? I'm not going to be alone forever. I just have to be okay with being on my own at this time because it's okay, you know? Do you think every successful person or every person who's happily married, they started off married? 
No, so it's okay to be single. Where better to start if you want to meet somebody, okay? So don't choose this fear that you'll never find somebody or, um, you know, if you don't do everything to please them, they'll leave again, okay? No, new perspective, new, cho new choosing, new choices, new direction. And you choose love this time. Okay, let's take a look at the new Egyptian Oracle cards. Fertility and creation. It's all about creation for you guys now. I did do um, a video for Sagittarius season. That it's saying it's time to sow, okay? You're going to be great at creating things right now. So don't allow your mind to slip backwards into this fear base. Like, okay, maybe everybody found somebody new. And I haven't found somebody new yet. What's going on? It could be that you and your soulmate haven't met yet and you're both longing to connect. Okay, and it's coming out of the blue here. It'll be a surprise with the tower. Okay, wonderful time for you guys to plant your seeds for what you want for the future. And let's see the message from your angel cards here. And it's like I said, don't dim. You deserve the best. Reach for the stars with your dreams and desires and don't compromise. Again, there, a card telling you, look, don't compromise. You deserve the best. And let's get one of the shadow light oracle cards here. Working too hard, angel of time. Okay, so here I am focused on the word time. So, and because we have the nine of swords, you may be, did it not happen for me in the retrograde? You see, I posted a video saying um, my ex didn't return in the retrograde, but everybody else's did, right? So you could be feeling those sort of feelings or everybody met somebody new. So you are worried maybe about time here and your mind's working overtime here. You're thinking too much with a nine of swords. Just allow it in to happen. Let's get a romance angel card for you guys. Finances and career. Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. Maybe you're being called to work one of the original light workers you may be just so busy with work that you don't have time for romance right now that's why you haven't met somebody not that you won't meet somebody just you haven't had time yet okay being a light worker i tell people all the time you could just be somebody who people just magically bump into you on the street and you know you help them in some way and you don't even realize you're helping them. It doesn't mean you have to be like a priest or something like that. And let's get one of the fairy tarot deck. Prince of Summers. Falling in love suddenly being swept off your feet. The need to stay grounded during a very emotional experience. So somebody's rushing in here. Romantic, captivating, dramatic and flirtatious. That's the knight of wands rushing towards you with an offer. You see, somebody's coming here. Don't worry about it. 